Hello all. Welcome to Study Bay Technologies. So before we go ahead, let me introduce myself. My name is Deep Pandey, and having around 12 plus years of uh, IT experience and uh, more than four years of experience on big data technologies, including Hadoop, MongoDB, Cassandra, and Park Scala, and so on. Moreover, I'm an author of a book, Be a Big D, which is actually a comprehensive book on uh, big data and Hadoop. And currently, I'm serving as a founder and chief executive officer of Steadyway Technologies Private Limited. Now, in our today's session, we are planning to learn about how to use the scoop to import all the tables which are present in your traditional RDBMS database. So far we have studied how to import some data, how to import uh, some table, how to import some selective data, that's what we have learned so far. Now today let's say we have some uh, uh, around uh, n number of tables and I want to import all the tables into my HDFS. So before we go ahead, let me show you uh, how our data actually looks like here. Let me go ahead and uh, change some settings so that you can have a better view. All right. So first of all, let me log into the MySQL database so that uh, you can understand like what kind of tables do I have here. Let's get into this. MySQL. Root and the password as I wanted to add the password. Oh, 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 small p. The password is, okay, if I have a command show databases, you give me the list of databases and my database is demo, use demo. Now, if I have a command like show tables, okay, these are my three tables. Let me see the data as well. <coughs> this is the data. Another table. Staff. This is the data. And third table is student. It's like this. So as per whatever we have studied so far, it means like we have to specify the table name and then that particular table will be imported to the ATFS. But now let's say I want to import all these three tables in a single go. How could I do that? Let's go ahead and let's check it out. First of all, let's come out of this uh, MySQL and make it clear so that we can clear the screen. Now, so, this is the basic command. I'm sure you are very much uh, aware of this particular command, but let me tell you the references over here, whatever we have studied so far from this. So, so far we were writing about like scoop, import, and then connect uh, to the JDBC, MySQL, and so on. But this time, since I need to import all the tables, so I'm using scoop, import, all tables okay then uh, rest of the command remains same like connect jdbc mysql localhost uh, demo is my database name root is a username if you need some more details about that uh, set of commands you can uh, visit our previous videos as well so this is the username then i wanted to inquire the password that's why i've used hyphen capital p i'm not having any kind of primary key over there so that's why i'm using double m uh, uh, double hyphen m1 and this I'm using warehouse directory and the warehouse directory should reside in user study bay. I don't need to use this uh, target directory this time because I'll be using uh, uh, all the tables I'll be importing all the tables and I should go to the warehouse directory and this time I want to create this warehouse directory with the name as study bay. okay now let's fire this command just press enter over here and it will ask about the password so you can see here that it's going to import this employee table and just uh, started this MapReduce job. 
you don't have to worry about like with particular table like uh, you have to import one by one or something like that no it will import all the tables by its own so we'll check it out and import all the concurrent tables into your DFS directly you can see here that's again now third job there were three tables so far so now it is executing three different MapReduce jobs right now if I want to check like if the table has been uh, concerned directly have been created or not ls user let me check if the directory is present or not oh yes you can find here that there is one directory with the name as study base that has been created now if I go ahead to this study bay you can see here that three new directory with name employee staff and student these three have been created these are the three directories let me get into these directories one by one and check if the data is imported correctly or not you can see here that there is one uh, file with the name as part m double zero double zero zero simply means that the data has import is successful now so let's check uh, cross check the data cat just copy this and you can see here that my data is successfully imported into this particular file right this is the way how you can migrate your entire data into DFS. all the tables into DFS, and all these tables will be imported in the form of a file or the data will be imported in the form of a file with a folder name which is exactly same as your table name okay now there is one more condition let's say you have 100 different tables let's assume it okay out of which you need only 99 tables okay one particular table you want to exclude fine so there is one way like you can uh, write the same query nine, uh, 99 times like using the first query that what we have discussed in our previous videos to import all the tables one by one you have to write that query 99 times or there is one more option you can use import all command as I'm using here only and you can specify exclude tables okay you can use command argument uh, over here as exclude tables and specify the table name separated by comma so this time let's say I want to exclude the table student I don't want this table to be imported okay you can specify it like student staff something like that all right so but this time I need to uh, exclude this particular table student okay now I want this uh, uh, employee and staff table to be migrated to uh, a new directory that is study bay underscore one okay now let's go ahead let me enter the password so you can see here that is going to start this map reduce job Now it's beginning the import of a star. Okay. Now let me see icon ls user. Let me check if the directory has been created or not. Yes, this is the directory name study day underscore one. And you can see here, instead of getting three tables, now I have got only two tables that are employee and staff. So whenever you are going to use import all tables command, you can use 
exclude tables also if you want to exclude some specific tables. Okay. So this is how uh, you can import all the tables with a single command and you can exclude some selected tables as well. So for this video, that's enough for today. For more details, if you are looking for any training requirement, you can visit our website www.studyway.in. You can mail us at, at our at studyway.in or you may call us on 700-70-344-21. If you want to go for the self-studies, you can order a copy of book uh, Be A Big D from Pothi.com with a note 188-662. Thank you so much for joining. Have a nice time ahead and take a very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.